Hi guys, I'm John Turpin with Strong by Grill Beals. And today I'm gonna to show you how to feed out our new product, Extend in Sugar Syrup. It's gonna be a one-to-one. -one. All right, so first, of course, you gotta make the syrup. I have 10 pounds of water in here, which is roughly 1.3 gallons. 10 pounds of syrup, right here. All right. I use a drill because it's a lot easier. Also, if you use water from your uh, hot water tank, which this is from, it dissolves a lot faster. Do not add extend until after the sugar because you don't want the water to be too hot or to kill the microbes. Okay, so we'll call this roughly one and a half gallons. Plus or minus, it doesn't have to be exact. You can put too much in, it's not gonna hurt the bees. But you want enough in there to help uh, their gut strengthen, help them digest the food. Because this is a natural food. Right now, I'm actually during a flow. The bees are going out visiting flowers. They're getting all different types of microbes from them. And this is also gonna help crowd out uh, pathogens and help with all different types of functions. So, for a gallon and a half, we're gonna call it two heaping teaspoons. We're gonna put in there and that should be fine. It's gonna be plenty, a little over. One, two. two. All right, so what is in there? Take out. All right, so now just give it a mix. And that's all there is. All right, so now that you have your syrup made up with Extend in it, now you're gonna to want to feed the hive. There are all different types of feeders. So, fill her up, front feeder, invert, and slide in. That's all there is to it. Of course, top feeder, fill that up, frame feeder, put it in there. Make sure the bees can get out and they won't drown. So you can float, ladder, whatever you have. Now, as I said earlier, we are in a flow right now in Maryland. Tulip poplars blooming, bees are bringing all types of nectar. So normally, you don't want to feed during that time. However, this hive was a smaller swarm that I caught. And I forgot to give them Super DFM. They came down with a light case of European foul brood. Now, microbes will help. It would have been much better if I would have treated them with Super DFM earlier on, that they would have probably never developed the valve root. So this could clear it up. I just have to remember to feed it constantly, uh, possibly every few days, once a week, with microbes. And that's going to help clear all the European valve root spores that pass through the bees in the cycle. Well, I hope you enjoyed watching. It's a really easy way to feed microbes to your bees. Super DFM is easy as well, but sometimes, you know, you can't get around fast enough. So this is an excellent way. Thank you. Bye.